Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Queen of Bows and the Hair. And, um, you know, this is, a, this is a court card. So we haven't had this one come up before, so let me just explain a little bit about it. Um, the hair is symbolic of spring infertility. And, you know, when you think about that, in, in an essence, that's usually around Easter time. You know, we see the chocolate bunnies and, you know, the, the laying of eggs, you know, with candy in them, you know, all that thing around that, that holiday. And, um, you know, one of the things that caught my eye on this as well is the full moon. And I did a little research on the hair in Celtic tradition. And uh, um, they, they also represented, you know, the moon and, uh, you know, with fertility and things of that nature. So... I don't know how that plays um, with conceptions and things like that, but it'd be interesting to find out. Um, again, queens, uh, the way I ex explain it, are you know they rule the castle. They know uh, everything that's going on um, within their uh, little realm. You know they know what's going on with the blacksmith's daughter, and you know the uh, um, you know the tailor's son, and you know everything that's going on, all the all the stuff that she's able to control within her little castle. Um, or big castle, you know, however it is. Um, you know, she's got that nurturing aspect, too, of, you know, what's going on within her realm. Okay. Uh, Bows is fire energy, and it, it represents creativity. So if you're thinking about uh, the queen that's got that fire energy, uh, that's walking around her castle, um, you know, she's going to be talking with everybody, but she's, you know, she's going to be talking to most of the wives of the artisans there. And, you know, trying to, you know, come up with uh, creative ideas on, you know, what's going on for their families, you know, so they can, you know, continue to survive and, you know, how it can represent the, you know, the kingdom and everything like that. So, um, and the hair is a reminder of abundance and it's just not fertile abundance, but it's abundance with everything. Okay. As, you know, we, we the myth or that legend that, you know, rabbits multiply quickly, um, you know, that's kind of like the abundance too. So, you know, with that creative energy that that um, Queen of Bows has, that hair has, okay, you know, that could be creating abundance in finances, could be creating abundance in your skill set, could be creating abundance in uh, social gatherings or relationships or communication, things of that nature. So <coughs> she's looking at, you know, the, the creativity piece of that. Okay, and, and moving forward and, you know, being abundant with, with what, that, what that has. Um, now, the Queen of Bows, she's very sympathetic and understanding. All right, so when you come to see her, okay, with an issue, again, this is one of those situations that, you know, if you're going before the court, before the Queen and the King, okay, you're going to ask them her opinion. You're not going to argue with them on what's right or what's wrong. Okay, you're asking them opinion, you know, on what's going on, and they're going to give you the answer, okay, that maybe you're not looking for, but maybe you are looking for. But this queen is going to be sympathetic and understanding to whatever it is you're bringing to her, okay? Um, she's going to provide the guidance on your success for your journey. So if it's, if it's something of an aspect of, you know, hey, I'm thinking about, you know, moving out of the castle and putting up, you know, a, a house on the land. Do you think the king would be, you know, ready for me to do that? You know, she's going to give you that that guidance on what's going to be successful to presenting that to the king. Okay. And, you know, she's going to understand. She's going, well, why do you want to move out of the castle? You know, I don't understand. You've got such a great talent at, you know, basket weaving. Okay, and it's like, well, you know, we want to start a family and, you know, you know, we want to raise it outside the castle, have a little land so, you know, we have something to fall back on. And she's going, I understand where you're coming from. Hate to lose you out of the castle. Um, you know, you're still part of the group. Okay, and I understand the importance of basket weaving and, and you know, making your own crops so you can start having a little bit of a, um, you know, income from all that. And this is the way that, you know, you might want to go about it talking with the king. All right. And, you know, I can put a good word in for you, too. It's, it, you know, to me, it's kind of like uh, when I was going through college, um, you know, I would take my term paper into the professor, uh, you know, maybe a couple weeks beforehand and say, hey, would you review this for me? 
you know, and he would give me some pointers, and then when I turn it in, I get a better grade. You know, here you're you're going into that queen asking her for you know advice. She's going to give it to you. Now you've got a better case to present to the king. Okay, so she's going to be very supportive. Okay, and um, you know maybe the message that she comes across could be kind of witty. You know, to make you think. You know, in, in a laughing form or fashion. Um, but just like the king, she's just as wise as well. She knows what's going to work, what's not going to work. And, uh, you know, if it's something that um, she doesn't disagree with it, you know, she's going to tell you in a witty way, but she's going to be very gentle about it and very kind and saying, you know what, that's really not a good idea. You know, you might want to stick to just keeping your basket weaving here in the castle, you know, because really your talent, it's good, but it's not as, you know, it's not as good as somebody else's. All right. And you make a good product, but you know, you just need to continue working on your craft. Okay. Um, so as you go about your day tomorrow and you're thinking about this queen of bows and this hair, these are kind of the, the aspects you're going to look for. Somebody in a person is going to be very popular in your workplace or in your social setting. Okay. It might even be popular, you know, in your, in your home relationship. Okay. Um, this is going to be somebody who's very dedicated and committed to defend or take a stand. And as, you know, as that bows being that fire energy, that creativity energy, that's also a passion. Okay, so somebody who's going to be very passionate and dedicated to whatever that cause is. You know, maybe they're going to take up that mantle and carry it for you a little bit. All right, so this is somebody you want, you know, throughout your day, you know, as you're looking at that person and you're thinking to yourself, okay, it's either I have to look at it within myself, am I that queen of bows, or is it somebody in my life that's passionate about something, that's dedicated to that cause and committed to it, to, to make it, you know, uh, to defend whatever it is, all right? And that could be, you know, you might be sitting at, uh, you know, a conference room and something comes up and somebody gets passionate about, you know, whatever the topic is. That would be like that queen of bows moment where, you know, they're quick to defend somebody, okay? If this is an aspect, again, this is going to be somebody who's, um, uh, there's going to be some, some sympathy involved, involved, some empathy, maybe some jealousy, okay? That maybe, that, you know, maybe that three of arrows comes out a little bit with, uh, with that aspect. Um, you know, there could be a rivalry and, you know, the jealousy and rivalry kind of go hand in hand, okay? Um, that aspect could also be something that's very unpredictable. Um, it could be something that you're working on and, you know, all of a sudden maybe a pipe burst or something like that and just, you know, maybe it takes out your computer, your laptop. That's unpredictable. That's an aspect where it's just kind of like, doggone it, you know, I can't believe this happened. You know, that queen of bows aspect is like, you know, people are going to be, oh man, you work so hard on that. And, you know, they're, they, they'll sympathize with you, they empathize with you, and it's just kind of like, well, what do I do now? You know, I can't change it. All I can do is move forward. Maybe you can save it, maybe you can't. So that's kind of like that aspect um, that you would look for in that Queen of Bows. Now, if this is an event, um, uh, it's, it's going to be something that's going to be able to give you better understanding of something, okay? Um, maybe a trade show. Or maybe an event to uh, to learn something more about your craft, your skill set that gives you a better understanding of you know where you need to move forward. It also helps with that creative you know creative ambition. So uh, whatever your muse is, whether it's music or art or you know uh, paying attention to pottery or whatever, it's it's kind of like where do you get that creative inspiration, that creative attention? creative ambition to make you move forward. Maybe it's sewing, cross stitch, needlepoint, you know, crocheting, things of that nature. Th something that where you can, you know, develop a little bit of that creative atmosphere and move forward. Okay. And, um, you know, it's also going to be like, you know, maybe setting up parties or going to parties, you know, helping people out, um, you know, with setup or, you know, business opportunities, things on that nature where, you, um, you use that creativity to, you know, hey, it's a birthday party, you know, let's, you know, play pin the tail on a donkey or something like that, or, 
you know, uh, you know, let's hit the donkey with the stick and get the candy. You know, things on that nature where, you know, there's some creativity. And, um, you know, it could be, you know, looking at the business opportunities as, you know, man, I'm really good at doing this. And it'd be nice to just, you know, maybe, you know, put this on a Facebook page or something like that. I, I got a friend of mine that, you know, that uh, does woodworking. All right. He puts it on his Facebook page and, you know, that creative idea has actually spawned another, you know, profession for him. Okay. And, and, and you know, he's, I don't know if he's doing well or not, but, you know, what it, just putting it out there and marketing it, you know, spawn that creative business opportunity for him. So like with most of the court cards, um, they do come with questions. So, you know, the, as you're going about your day tomorrow, thinking about this queen of bows and his hair, and, uh, you know, whether that's you or whether it's somebody else who, you know, you're looking for, for that dedicated person, um, ask yourself this question, either about that person you're thinking about or about yourself, okay? And that's, how do you influence those that are around you? In a leadership capacity, possibly, um, could be, you know, how do you influence your coworkers? You know, if your peers, is it your work ethic? Is it how you go about doing things? Is it, you know, showing those talents? You know, maybe training somebody, you know, in that aspect? You know, how do you interact with your superiors? Okay. You know, uh, a good friend of mine told me a long time ago, he always asked a question of help me understand. By asking that question to your superiors, it gets somebody to think a little bit. Help me understand, you know, uh, what the process is in doing this. Or, you know, help me understand what your thinking is to make this better, okay? And you, you open up that, que that question, that open-ended question, and a lot of creative thought comes out of that, okay? So, you know, as you're going about your day thinking about that, that queen of bows, you ask that question, how do you influence around you, you know, those that are around you, as well as in your environment? And the other question is, is where do you need to be more understanding, just like that queen of bows, when you went to her for, um, you know, taking that place outside the, the castle walls to do basket weaving, where do you need to be more understanding in the answers that you're getting back? Okay, where do you need to be more understanding of working with your peers? Okay, where do you need to be more understanding of, you know, or sympathetic, more empathetic? with what's happening within your peers or the workplace or your family or social life. Okay, so those are just a couple of questions that, that come up with the Queen of Bows. So leave your comments down below. Um, I appreciate your viewership. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And uh, this is Dee from the Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.